Welcome back, gamers, to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last time, Uwu Kawaii Girl, Evil, Bellboy, Compromised, Edgeworth, Hot. This time, we're gonna find out the guy who is actually with the Uwu Kawaii Girl all along and save Maya from the death penalty. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Find out of this episode of Dragon Ball Z Kai. <laughs> watching that right now. <laughs> well, hello. Oh, we're just going straight to talking to her, huh? I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place like this. Dank meme. Dank epic. It's really quite moving. Not you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. <laughs> Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spinky head? Spiky head. Spiky head. Yeah, <laughs> spinky head. <laughs> Here we go again. Um, Leech, who wooed your scare in the security guard? I don't see him being scared. Well, on the Game Boy, it was very pixelated, so you could just assume, but now that the art is crisp and stuff. <laughs> so, what is it you wish to ask me, then, hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? Back to uwu music. Let's talk to her. <laughs> no, let's examine her. <laughs> Why? You just... Why not? Edit that out, future me. <laughs> About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. <laughs> I'm you're not gonna... Edit out if you're laughing I, your I don't think I'm gonna edit it out. <laughs> Can you tell me more about him? Tell me about him. Where is he? Come on. Be cool. No way, Jose. Hmm, maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Uh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep. This woman is impossible to talk to. Uh, you think spying on people without their consent is illegal? What, what are you, cringe? <laughs> frickin', where did you learn that at? Frickin', I don't know, middle school? You graduated middle school? Oh, we, we got a fancy prep boy over here, frickin'. <laughs> Why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it. Bottom feeding scum sucking lawyer. Bottom? <laughs> I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? <laughs> Do it. Do it. Oh, she does appear. Mm hmm. No! <gasps> Do the badge! Do the badge! Do the badge! Hey, guess what? Actually, I, um, really hate your guts. So get lost, because, well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks. I noticed. Did she say that for everything? We'll have to come back with a piece of evidence. I mean, show the wire tab, just show her, like, haha, I found it, you got wrecked by this aim. But the fact that she's just so freaking bitter is Frickin' hilarious. Uh, moving on. Gotta go to... Let's go to the hotel. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll run into Bellboy. Gatewater Hotel. Oh, welcome, sir. I get to talk to myself for a while. <laughs> Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the gateways rep, as they say. Gatewaters. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as a hotel where the murderer would use a wiretap. 
We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It'll be a great for business, sir. Ah, <laughs> uh, capitalism through and through, dude. Whoa, whoa, Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. About Miss May. Oh, her? Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. <laughs> I knew the moment I saw her. Knew, her, knew what? It but she do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. What question? Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lighty killer, if you pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He did it, too. <laughs> he and I are the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. I'm a real bad boy. There we are in the total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. <laughs> if you had a photo of the man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. Okay. Epic. A photo. Hum. Could you tell me about this motel? Hotel, I mean. Same thing. Absolutely, and on that subject, I have an ex 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 excellent idea, sir. <laughs> Certainly, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. <gasps> Murder Manor. <laughs> well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. Um, I don't think there's gonna be anything to examine, not gonna lie. Maybe the bottles? Ah, uh, there's still a screwdriver stuck in that drawer. Uh, please leave it as it is, sir. That's the drawer of terror, hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. <laughs> it's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy's serious. I don't believe it. Bro, he's just lazy. He doesn't want to fix the problem. A bottle and two glasses rest on the table. Why hasn't he cleaned these up by now? Don't touch those. I beg your pardon, sir, but if you could please refrain from touching those. It's part of the decor. I call it the last drink. Before murder, <laughs> we'll be famous. The talk of the hotel industry. I want to keep investigating. No, please examine more things. Freaking do the bed, do the bed. A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye catching here. Oh, look at the window. The window. The sheets. Nice weather again today. You can see the Fay and Co. law offices, of course. Ah, uh, yes, we plan to install a telescope in that window, of course. What? Just five dollars will earn you three minutes of a view to a kill. Just kidding, sir. Oh, ho, 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 ho. By that look in his eyes, I'd say he was more than serious. Bro, if you're gonna laugh, you have to laugh louder. The microphone's filtering your laughs out. <laughs> There, I got that scoff. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have anything to present him, so... Uh, yes we do. So, do the present. Present the croissant. I'm sorry. All I could think about during the murder trial was the hotel. I wasn't paying much attention to the evidence. Okay. Let's move. Look at my chrome frickin... Rossberg Law Offices. Doobie I mean, doobie. We could go to the Whoa. Whoa, indeed. Go to the frick. It's not for sale. What happened to it, dude? <laughs> September 7, Grossberg Law Offices. Huh, looks like the Grossberg is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason? That'd be cray cray, dude. Why would he do that? We're friends. We're friends. Why would he leave me? Examine, examine. <gasps> Look, a random photo of a man that we saw in the opening cutscene. We gotta show it to the bellboy because he could identify the person that was in the room with the lady and then we could confirm the lady about the guy who's like... <laughs> Do you know something about the bellboy? Sorry. <gasps> whoa, 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. And then it said this. Or something was written on the back of it and this is what's written on the back. 
All right, DL6 Incident Exhibit A, DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. DL6 Incident Exhibit A. Dot, dot, dot. I'm sure I have seen this person somewhere. I don't think we've seen her. I don't think we have actually seen her, but I think this might be Maya's mom and Mia's mom. Because she's got that okay. boring woman look going on. Frickin'. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. There's a little theft here and there's no one frickin'. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. It's evidence. We're taking it. DL6 Incident Exhibit A. Do the next one. Do the next one. I need to know. I need to know. A photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll swap them. Interesting. Look at the wall. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah. Yeah, it was a painting of... <laughs> Marvin Grossberg. Sunflowers. Fisherman. It was a fisherman, I think. Wasn't it? It was a very memorable painting. Of... Wasn't it? It was it's a very memorable painting, anyhow. Dude, I remember it was like a dog and a guy holding something. With it was a fisherman okay. with a hat. I remember the hat, so I'm assuming it's a fisherman. Okay. Well, Let's get the heck out of this deck. So, uh, office? Hotel. We got the photo. You wanted to see a picture of a person, remember? So we would want to present? Frickin' hate this guy's mug, dude. I'll get copyright strikes for that. I can't say it in a singing voice or I'll get copyright. I know, I'm a really good singer. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. <laughs> no, that's me, IRL. No, no, I don't. Yes, you do, Phoenix. Everyone wants to freaking say the cool stuff. Without a doubt, this is the man who checked in with April May. Miss April May. About how about I write an affidavit? What? Swearing that's that, 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 that's him? Oh, he's just going to say, yeah, that's the guy. And after doodles, this guy is way too excited about this. Dude, like, nah, we don't need it. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Freaking. Yes! I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidoodle. Just hurry up and write it. Describes the man who stayed at the hotel and then in the. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Okay, well then let's go present it to her. Yeah. You are... This is yours. Go. You again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. Sorry. Our dog just like opened his eyes. He's like asleep under us and his name's Spike. So he's like looking at you. He's like, what'd I do? Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> You're okay, buddy. Go back to sleep. It's your bedtime. Fine. <laughs> that does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. No, not the Spikey dude. Oh, there's two pages now. Oh, wow. Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times... Wait, frickin', I'm confused. I didn't realize she was talking. Look, I've said several times, I'm not telling you. <laughs> frickin'. <laughs> frickin'. You know, she's got a face of, like, a psychopath. She, 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 she ages 20 years in the blink of an eye, and it's really... Concerning. I like how her eye twitches all the time, no matter what you're talking to her about. Yeah, she seems stressed. She needs to, like, chillax, see a therapist. 
<laughs> Where did you? Aha! A reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Do, do you have proof that it was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof? Show me proof. I'm so close. Imagine if we just said no earlier and we had to go back. It's like, actually, we need that affadoodle. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's aff bottle. It tells everything he saw. Such as the man you checked in with. Who was most definitely this guy. <laughs> Freaking ding. <laughs> now I'm getting somewhere. Well, ease her fears. Push her hard. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb. If indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should have been a witness of the murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Oh, fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes! Man, that felt good! <laughs> I know, right? It's great to be alive! <laughs> Why are you pumping your fists in the air? <laughs> now, um, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the information gathering con conglomerate. I don't conglomerate. Blue Corp. Conglomerate. Blue Corp. Is it white, the one that affected? Oh, shoot! That's the name of the guy! <laughs> affected Miss May's mom? You mean Mia Faze. That's Miss May. Oh, yeah, that's right. Why do they have to make everyone say I know, I almost said it like five times. So, Mia Faze is what I meant to say. Mia, Maya, same thing. Yeah. I mean, I guess it is kind of literally the same thing in this case. Anyway, red, white? Like... Pink? What? Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Um. <laughs> I just like nuzzled the microphone freaking puppy thing with my nose for no reason. God. Now I'm losing it. So, this is the man that was with you the night of the murder. Beep, beep, beep. I'm, I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. Bing. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Uh, could you tell me where Blue Core is located? Broop. We didn't even need to go to the freaking other place. Mr. Red White, at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. I like his purple hair. I like his purple hair. I hate his smile and butt chin, though. <laughs> he looks so punchable. And then we threw his little affidable in the basuda. That Why? means trash. I don't know. Phoenix is a lawyer. He knows what he's doing. No, we can't Very it clearly. <laughs> it's like, yeah, freaking good judge is like, okay, why is this guy relevant? Uh, because he was with the girl. And the girl's like, no, he wasn't. And then it's like, well, well they could probably just have the bellboy testify. Yeah, they probably could. But it's such a roundabout way to do it. They're just gonna have to hit me with a trust me, bro, in the trial. <laughs> Blue core. Ooh, spooky, spooky. 
Yo, is that freaking? That's oh, the painting. Oh, the painting. I was looking at the freaking ball. He's holding a big ball, like the freaking duder who pushes the. Is it Edith? So he bought the painting. So it was just a guy. That, I guess it wasn't a fishing man, was it? Yeah. I thought it was. There was no sunflowers, no hand. It's definitely not Morgus and Frigo, whatever his face is. At the thought, did the dude ellipses silence? What's with the surreal decor? Oh shoot, more voice acting. Would you like to voice the very flamboyant pink man for me? The what? Just read the text. Just do the, the you're this person now. Make it sound kind of like slightly gay. Well, like... <laughs> sound gay for the. <laughs> Do your best gay voice right now. Happy Pride Month, gamers. We're not homophobic. We just like gay people talk. The way you say that makes you sound homophobic. I have a homophobic friend. Trust me. <laughs> you have a homophobic friend. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> no, my, my, I don't know. My, all my homies are... You're not are, good under pressure, Alex. All my homies are homos. <laughs> That's even worse. No, homo's a good thing. Homophobic's a bad thing, homosexual's a good thing. You need to tell me something? <laughs> Don't, okay, I'm afraid of hearing you make a gay voice, because then it will start sounding homophobic. <laughs> Freaking. Welcome, please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the... Your name? What's your name? I was just in... Inquiriably? Inquiriably? <laughs> asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquiriably? Yeah, same. <laughs> He's like, Mr. What? Wright? Is it? <laughs> right, I see. Splendor... You're gonna make Splend me freaking talk to this guy, and I can't even read half the words you say. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giant, <laughs> giant esque <laughs> vocabulary. No, you're bothering me with your random word vomit, dude. What's this guy's problem? <laughs> Same. <laughs> I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know. Corporate expansion official. He doesn't even know what CEO means. Lame. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I am not used to conversing, conversing with the wordly challenged. You freaking jerk. I hope you choke on a freaking toothpick and die. What, Phoenix? What a fruitcake. <laughs> hmm. Let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Here comes the music. <laughs> oh, this music's always so good. Let's examine, because I want to see what he says of Bing. Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? <laughs> Ridiculousity? I have no interest in anything but originals. That's right, there is a bona fide, bona fide original worth five million for sure. Mm. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk. My, my, this is quite the thing. It is modeled on my body. See? Bro, you are ripped. Well, does it sleek, round, rounded, rounded shirt? shirt not inspire you? Uh, he is. I just realized that that's like. Yeah, no. I wasn't paying attention to the feet. It's, it's just naked, headless versions of himself, I guess. 
an impressive lineup of trophies. Judges special, runner-up, best participation, judges cooperation, special good tr <laughs> special good try prize. <laughs> the words judges and specials kind of stand out. Specials try, good job. A statue of a man holding up the world. Zawarudo. The blue corpse sign. Ah, oh, frick. Sorry. I'm uncertain, this frickin' Mr. White. It's modeled after Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably too butatious for you to appreciate, correct? I think it's a little too butatious for just about anyone to appreciate. This is the top floor of a 20-story building. The view is quite presidential. Do the pot. The pot is something. Ah, dang. I wanted to see what the pot was about. I think that's it. I think that's it too. Unless like there's yeah. Okay, let's talk. Miss May is an employee of Blue Core, is she not? Correct. She was my secretary. What a shock it was to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed, she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable. Ineffable? Yeah, that's a real word. Anyway. That she would do this. I dropped my pretzels. Spike's gonna be happy later. It sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White. The hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. Dot dot dot. <laughs> I'm shaking his head. So I guess dot 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 is to imply like... Silence. Hesitation. Mm. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases, I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although, I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm, he raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh, oh, oh. Ho, ho, ho. The police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys. Play things for my amusement. Huh. What kind of company is Blue Core anyway? It's Blue Corp. Yeah. You keep saying Blue Core. That's the same thing. No, it's not. Oh, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. We might say we are the future. Sell information. In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. Wow, that's crazy. He named it after a color? That's and why, so you ask? Telling. Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic? It is, not, is it not? I'm kind of... Man, this guy sucks. I hate him. Yeah, and you made me read his lines. Yeah, I hate him. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes? What that- what might that be? Dude, your tie just looks so freaking tacky. That big painting on there, on the wall over there. It's gorgeous. I've seen it before. When did you get it? You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh. Just yesterday, actually. 
Your point being? My point is simple, or rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Uh, huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch, Zippo, nada. Just like the sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. <laughs> Grossberg. What? Erg, erg, oof. Uh, 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 he punched me. What the frick, dude? Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? What are you gonna do? Call the police? Charge me away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your comp compensation. I think he meant comprehension. He said compensation, though. Yeah, he did say compensation. I thought my dyslexic brain was... Yeah, I, I, was, I, was, I thought I got dyslexia for a second. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> You came here from Brody Burgers, I presume? Mr. Grossbergs, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go on now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to dis discuss. Yeah, right. Just took one to the belly. Very fun. I wish I could have drawn it or something. <laughs> just present the picture of himself. It's not gonna do anything. Probably not. I don't. I don't even want to hear his color text. I don't care. I hate him. <laughs> Let's move on. Back to the Grossberg Law Offices. Here? Yeah. He told us to go ask him about the painting. Yeah. He really doesn't want to talk. Huh, I don't think he noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem! Jumping Jehoshaphats! <laughs> oh, you! What's wrong? You look so pensive like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm? I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all last night. You see, couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me a sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. I asked before, but why did you refuse a request for the def for defense? Blah, blah. I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. Right? No, no, I'm sorry. It's just, I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. But the sussy ball. I started to have a feeling I know what it is. I bet the guy punched him in the stomach, too, and now he doesn't want to do it anymore. He knows. So I paid Blue Core a visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg. I have to admit, something's been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. My boy, boy. You see, it's just... 
And all three of these are pretty much what I want to know about, you know? Mr. Grossberg, sir. There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue or Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. Connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. Ooh. <gasps> To your lovers, please, 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 pride yes, month, please. Him. No, 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 your lovers, they're lovers. Please, pick it. No! <laughs> Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail. Oh. No. I think that penny goes rolling goldy proof. Very well. This might be the chance I've been waiting for. <laughs> Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were Mia's understudy. Perhaps it was fate. He's going to come out. He's coming out of the closet. What's he talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry. What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? What? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of those photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. Why would have destroyed me if I did? So that's the connection. It's hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron... It gives him an... It gives him an iron grip. <laughs> he owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. Wow, this is crazy. A work with politicians? This would only ever happen in the work of fiction. What? I know, this seems <laughs> a little too close. To yeah, freaking for real. You forgot to say what? I did say what. What? Bullet? They are bound, unable to do harm themselves and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of money. Blah, 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 blah. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. The DL6 incident. What is a DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. A medium. Her name was Misty Faye. Hold on, Janelle's getting me pretzel. I feel like she needs to hear about this. Uh, Janelle? Yeah, they're talking about Misty Faye, the mommy, on the case from 15 years ago or something. Faye, indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police, and she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could do for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. The murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is a DL6 incident. Reason for blackmail. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want the people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let the people know. But one person found out. I... I told him... You told... White? He offered me riches. It's an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to see me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet if you would still challenge him, he ha have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? 
She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. So I guess we have to go examine her office. So, yeah. It's about time we visit here. It's been a while. It's funny, looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. Beep, 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 beep. Oh shoot. Ah. Uh, I get oh. Over it. Did he already say he'd have to water it now? No, that's new. That is new. That makes me kinda sad. The sky's blue and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. Old movie poster. Apparently it's a first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. You should examine the phone. The desk, perfectly clean as always. Only thing's missing is Mia. Ugh. Despacito gamers. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? So, DL6, probably files A through A. I, A record that catches. <laughs> Let's see if there's A record in this file that catches my eye. A, B, F. Misty Faye, that's Mia's and Maya's mother. Hmm, should I take a look? <laughs> nah, why is it even an option at this point? I've tarnished the Faye name, leaving only these words. I mean, you wanna read this? No, it's Mia's voice, you gotta read it. I have tarnished the Faye name, leaving only these words. My mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold the information to the press. This parasite, who makes his fortune on threats and... Corey's coercion? coercion? Oh, coercion. His name is... Hmm, let's see. J through S. Nothing much in here. Skim. Sigh. Well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. Biggest parts here and an S. Suicide? Ew, cringe. <laughs> she has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. Uh-oh. There's writing on most of these in pencil. White? This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... Hmm. I can use these newspaper clippings. Wow, that's awesome. Let's find the most disturbing one. Dude, what the heck? Articles about politician suicide. The word white is written at the top. This is really good because it connects Mia Faye to oh, white. That's it. The last one, I guess, didn't have anything. Oh. I don't remember that's this it. game being this, you know, dark and edgy, like bloody murder and stuff. I feel like this game felt more child friendly when I first. Now, had. where do we go? Oh, shoot. Um... Guess we can go back to Blue Court, but... I don't think we're welcome we back We can go talk let's to go Maya. To, mm, let's go to Grossberg's. Here? Yeah. I feel like... Nah, that's not it. Try talking. No, nah, no, no, no. Let's, yeah, let's go back to... No, wait, go back to the freaking um, Bay & Co. Can you try examining again? Why? Just one more round of like checking everything. Like go all the way to the right. You can't. Ah, oh, they locked it, huh? This is it. It's it. Not nothing down there. All right, let's move back to the detention service section, I suppose. Apparently, Miss May is in questioning. I doubt they'll let me talk to her today. They move, I guess. There's only one place we can go, and I. Oh, no, we can go to the hotel, I guess? Where are we going, What's the dudes? point, though? What's the point? We well, gotta go blue court, but do we... Are really? we gonna accuse him of suiciding people? Is How does he think this is gonna go, huh? Let's do it. 
Well, aren't you persistent? Wait, do you want to do the voicing for him now? Sure, I can read it. Do the voicing for him. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer? I really hate having to repeat myself. Hate having to. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated. Is that right? Yep. Your thick skull. Stop bothering me. I'm really glad you had to pause at that word. It's <laughs> really funny. <laughs> if you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we should... Maybe we should... Oh, we're gonna talk to him anyways. Like, Phoenix. This man kills people. I think we're about... We're past needing to talk about Miss May. I got I got to put this guy on the spot and quick. Hmm. Hmm, what, wait, that's your... <laughs> What's okay. the matter? You seem distressed. This guy's a pro at pulling the wool over people's eyes. I've got to put him on the spot and quick. Stop that. Your hot gaze is giving me goosebumps. There's no point in asking someone this crooked a straight question. I need some evidence. I, oh, come on, dude. Come on, dude. What's wrong? Is, there, is something stuck in my face? Okay. Stuck to my face? Why, well, yes, there's my eyes and my nose and my mouth. But of course, I just... Bro, he's going you to freaking murder you. Not restraint. Your mirth, my friend. It is okay to indulge in my cons cosmopolitan cosmopolitan sense of humor. I will not think less of you. Well, you know what to do, right? I got present. Yeah, we're gonna accuse him of suiciding some people. <laughs> oh shoot. Are we gonna have to freaking censor the word suicide? I know that YouTube has some words that are not allowed to be said. This video will get- That one is exactly one. You're not supposed to say God. it all. Dang it! So you have to bleep every time you say yes, it? Yes, I will. I don't think it being on the screen it will be- It might. It might, but we won't edit it because I'm lazy. If it gets ghost banned, so be it. People I mean, who made it to episode four- a... People who waited to episode four watch episodes one through three. Let's keep going. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I'd better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day word got leaked to the press. The very next day he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. Probably blackmailed him. I mean, yeah, that's what he's going for. You're blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I am right, aren't I? Man, he looks like a joke. What a character. bizarre accusation. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Mr. Wrong. What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, 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 no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Oh, shoot. Beep. Secretary's office. Hello. Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second. Mr. White. You're right. 
You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May taping, tapping, tuba daba dipping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be? Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Beep. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. Why? That you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude? I told, I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What, what man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Mr. White, this isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Beep. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you. I'll point that finger at you. Or I'll point the finger at you and you will be tired as Try. Miss Mia tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You will be given a lawyer so stupendously inept, inept. inept that they make even you look even you look competent. I I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah. Huh. He's a part of the police. Ah, butts. Hairy butts. Right, actually, Phoenix Wright, and my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right, sorry, pal. Butts was the murderer, right? <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. What? Take this despise, despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Well, that sucks. I mean, can you legally take someone into custody with no evidence? Which is someone accusing you? You can if you have enough money. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. Yeah, for real. He literally... Yesterday... No, I think what happened was like the thinker incident happened, and then the next day Mia freaking conkabonked. White's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in on it, of course, Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused, I had an idea. Beep, beep, beep. Right? Mr. Right? Oh, Maya. Great. 
They let you out of a detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Huh, now I'm afraid we switch places. What? You mean you... I explained what happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... We gotta defend me in court, cheer me on in court, help me break <laughs> Help me break out of here! We gotta get out of here, player! Uh, no! No! Alright, you can be my defense lawyer tomorrow, bro. Alright. Huh? Leave it to me. I am Mia's sister, after all. Lawyership runs in our blood. Wasn't it ghost powers that ran in your blood? <laughs> I'd better run to the bookstore and pick up a copy of Law for Rookie. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't say Law for Dummies because I bet they'd get sued. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? 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 I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really. I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece. Okay. Then come to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Show them a thing or three. Times may change, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finish in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in a defendant's chair myself for this case. With the true culprit appearing as a star witness. This is it. Tomorrow it's me or him. To be continued, gamers! What? Well, that was an episode, gamers, gamer, gamer. Stop doing things, we gotta do the outro. I'm just saying. Okay, I just don't wanna like, cause you'll save and might go to the thing. Thank you, thank you. Uh, how do we go into an outro? To be continued. Like, comment, subscribe. Come on, if we're going to frickin' beg him for engagement, we gotta do it in a less transactional manner. We gotta Tell be us like, who you think will win the trial. You also have to say, <laughs> frickin' <laughs> who's gonna win the trial? Do you think Mr. Red White will finally win in the game of Ace Attorney Phoenix, right? Or will Phoenix come out on top? It's a 50-50 chance, you might <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you don't know. You never know. This game could just be about... Not Phoenix, right? <laughs> anyway, gamers, that's it for this episode. If you liked the episode, make sure to leave a like, do a comment for the algorithm, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, gamers, more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. See ya!